Hey guys, Army Stinger 150 with you. I want to show off my uh, first aid supplies. Hambo has a contest, a giveaway for a uh, little handheld pocket kind of first aid kit. I don't expect to win. I got a lot of first aid. I don't really need it. But uh, I'm going to do this video anyway and show you what I got. So, uh, let me adjust the camera and I'll get back to you. Okay, so Hambo wants to see what you carry on you as far as first aid supplies on a daily basis to keep you safe from small cuts and abrasions and maybe some stuff for trauma. So here we go. I'm going to start over here with my assault pack because I go out to the field a lot, as you may know from my previous videos. So I do take a lot of first aid supplies with me. I am prone to cutting myself and stuff, so here we go. Now all I got here is a waterproof uh, cell phone case that I got at Wally World. And what it's got in it, it's got some aspirin and some bear. I've got some little band-aids right there. And this little green one, I've got my personal medications that I have to take. On the other side you can see that I've got some Ace of in there, some Carmex, some matches, some Aura Gel. i got some problems with my teeth sometimes. And I've got in there what you can't see is some more aspirin and a couple of uh, alcohol wipes and some more band-aids. So that's it for that. Put this back. Now I'm doing this assault pack so I can get it out of the way. Okay, over here, which you probably can't see, so I'm just going to take the contents out. Well, maybe not. Uh, here we go. I'll just put it right here for now. Top this other crap. I'm looking at the camera and see if you can see that. Yeah, good. Okay, I've got some Germex right here. Always got to take Germex with you. This is a germ grenade, by the way. I didn't come up with this, but uh, you can find it on the internet and you can leave it with 550 cord yourself. Don't buy that. Okay, my first aid kit with my assault pack. First, I've got just a, a gauze compressed bandage. SPF 35 sunscreen, activated charcoal for your stomach, and I have another video on this. Quick clot combat gauze, is this a uh, single severe cold and flu medication, just in case I get sick while I'm out there. Here's the main pack. It's got a beta, beta dine solution. It's got some uh, calamine lotion, new skin, more alcohol prep pads. This is another thing of uh, iodine, some uh, plastic gloves, eye wash. It's got some band aids in there. What else we got in here? We got stainless steel scissors in my open bag. I got some more alcohol prep pads, some more uh, band-aids, some tweezers. Uh, that is neosporin, a little bit of tape, uh, some ouchless uh, pads, non-adherent pads. Got an eye patch right here. and various other uh, small things that you may need. Uh, this is a petroleum gauze pad. So you got that one. And then a few more things in here. Uh, one more thing in here. Carmex. Very good for having that in the field. So that's that for that pouch. And I got one more, I got a cat tourniquet right here for quick asset access. And one more thing. And this little front pouch here. 
got my snake bite kit. This is the best kind. This is made by uh, Sawyer. You can see that. And it goes in this front little pouch here. We have a lot of snakes here in Texas, so I keep that readily, readily available so I can get to it. And I'm going to get this stuff out of the way, and we'll look at the rest of the stuff that I have. Now, of course, this is for the house. We keep this here, uh, usually in the kitchen. Got Israeli emergency bandage. A Sam splint. You see that? Whole bunch of uh, plastic gloves. Cotton balls. A couple of uh, light sticks in case the lights go out and you get hurt. Medical shears. A couple of sponges. Of course, American Red Cross First Aid Essentials book. Over on iodine, some more iodine, space blanket, some more pads, whatever that is. Q-tips for putting uh, medicine on your wounds. Of course, this is not uh, sterile, but it works better than using your fingers. And some Advil, and a couple of things of tape for the uh, non adherent pads that I have in here. So that's pretty much it for that kit. Let's put this back and sit this to the side, make more room. Okay, of course I've got my primary survival kit. And I'm only showing you this because this goes with me every time I leave the house, and it has a small first aid kit in it with Band-Aids, uh, some alcohol pads, and some other small things like that. And of course, my secondary survival kit. I have some more bear. I have a space blanket. On the bottom, I've got some more uh, band aids. And I've got some alcohol pads and stuff in here that you can use for uh, survival uh, purposes. And here is my kit. It's a drop down pouch from North American Rescue Products. It's a leg pouch. And here, this little flap on the outside, I got some uh, gloves. Get in there. And then I open it up. Got some more medical shears. Triangular bandage with safety pins. H&H &H brand gauze right there. Another Israeli uh, bandage right there. Another cat tourniquet. And this is first aid dressing, field camouflage, right there. And on to this, we got some more tape, a little light, more 550 cord. Here's a pen light. And it's got a little bit. Of uh, duct tape on there, Odie Green duct tape, and a Sharpie. And right here, I've got another dressing, camouflage, compressed gauze. I've got a trash bag to seal away all your uh, used uh, medical supplies, like biohazard and stuff like that. Got some 3x5 cards. And of course here, this comes in the uh, U.S. Army decontamination training kit, and all this is an alcohol pad. And this is the same thing, except this has uh, alcohol ampules in it. And this particular kit has a combat casualty response card. Write down all their information, and it tells you how to perform tactical field care and care under fire. It's got a nine line medevac request. And this one, you can actually write down the different parts that were wounded, how you treated them. There you go. 
And I've got a big, uh, a couple of big sponges there. So that's that bag. And this is what I take with me when I go to the range to fire the weapons, uh, stuff like that. It's more of a trauma kit because you might be encountering somebody has a gunshot wound or something like that. So you need the sponges. You need the Israeli emergency bandage, the compressed bandages, stuff like that. So just quickly put this stuff back in here. Put that to the side. This is a kit that goes in my car. And it's got quite a few things in it. Uh, this is just a little uh, one gigabyte flash drive with all my information in it. Chem light. Nasal spray. More Tylenol. Germex. Another H&H &H brand compressed gauze. Some gloves. A face shield in case you have to give somebody CPR. Some greaseless anal G sick balm. Draw my mean. Never know when you encounter some encounter somebody that has uh C sickness or motion sickness. This is Provodone iodine. We got a cold pack here. We got salon paws for sore muscles. I've got some more aura gel. We've got some Carmex. Tincture of green soap. Some tape, those ace bandages, uh, all kinds of uh, band aids. We got some mole skin right here. And that's pretty much it for that kit. Let me put this back, kind of, sort of. Pain in the ass to pack these things to get everything in there that you need. Okay, I'm not going to screw around with that. I'll just set that to the side. And this one goes in my wife's car. We travel a lot. And this is my main pack. So this goes with my, my wife's car because that's the main car we're going to take. We go somewhere. And then it, in this first pouch, we've got a glass breaker and a seat belt cutter. A couple of chem lights, another Israeli bandage. I do have IV leads and stuff. I was qualified to use these at one time. A tourniquet, I guess, got, you could call it or something, I don't know. Forget. Got some pads, some big big pads. There's one big pad right there. Got a, a couple of smaller ones. Another big one. And of course, this is the lead to the uh, IV and a multi-tool, just a cheap Stanley multi-tool. You never know when you're going to need one. Let me put this stuff back real quick. Okay, first pouch down, second pouch. Got a, uh, whew, damn it's hot. Got a scrub care, surgical scrub brush, sponge and nail cleaner. Keep your hands clean when you're gonna need to treat somebody. Got some lap sponges. I think there's five in here. Yeah, five in here. One of those. J2. And four IV stuff. I was a combat lifesaver in the army, and that's why I've got this pack in the first place. In the last pouch. We got two Sam Splints. Got a body fluids barrier kit, and this is more for me than them. Got a uh, a face shield. It's got gloves in it. It's got a biohazard bag in there. What else has got? A face mask, mouth to mouth barrier, antiseptic towels. There you go. Of course, band aids.
Curlix, the large roll. You see that? I got two of those. An ABD pad. Another Israeli emergency uh, bandage. For medical shears. And that's it. So guys, that's my first aid and medical supplies that I have and I carry. Everywhere I go, I had to take this out of my wife's car when she got home from work today. So, I think I'm pretty well set with my medical supplies. I don't really expect to uh, win this contest. I don't really need anything. Um, I'm taking care of pretty well. So I'll talk to you guys later. Remember Stinger 150. Peace.